and then I'm gonna come back. Hey, this is Jason. Look, I'm gonna just tell you right now as a disclaimer, I'm probably gonna offend some people and I don't care. So you can click out, you can swipe up, left, right, down, you can get the out, it's up to you, but I'm going to say what I need to say. This is directly to three people and communities. One, Gloria Velez, TK Kirkland, and Neo. I don't know Gloria Velez, I don't know TK Kirkland, but I do know Neo. But I want to sign names to shit today because motherfuckers out here being real reckless. I did my show today and I got emotional. I never get emotional because I don't be tied to this shit. But it hit me today while I was doing my show because I hadn't looked at the notes the night before. But it, it appeared that I had to address some stupid shit that was saying on the, on, on the internet. Both of them, and the reason why Gloria Velez's name is in there because she's the interviewer in both. I didn't make the connection until I went back and watched the clips because I got the notes and I went back and watched the clips. I didn't even know who Gloria Velez is because I guess she was a video girl that nobody watches videos anymore. Y'all ain't booked the way you were back in the day and I wasn't watching you when you were booked. But apparently you're a Puerto Rican. So the fact that I'm even addressing you doing interviews with these two about the gay community is crazy because I don't know if you're peddling homophobia. I don't even know if you if you even know that you're peddling homophobia, but I saw you like my Instagram, so you're aware of who I am. And I just got the phone with DJ Vlad, your boss, because I wanted to give him respect because I do have respect for him before I said what I was gonna say. Now, those of you that are peddling homophobia, like Jess Hilarious was peddling homophobia, gaslighting black women or women in general and defending certain things that we all agreed with to make you all justified in being homophobic, that's the shit I'm addressing today. Because why I got emotional is as much as I push the culture, the black culture, the culture, the culture, the culture, I'm also gay. So I'm gonna also push and promote the gay community. And I'm gonna defend them too when you're wrong. And I dare any of you mother out there that wanna jump on the bandwagon, to do some slick shady sh to support them, I dare you. Because all of you out there, sexual salty mother with, you know, cheating on your wives, all that sh sh will come out. Because I'm thinking of a new show called Dirty Laundry where I just lay all your sh I don't ever out you, all you basketball players running around guzzling balls, I don't ever do that. All of you out there talking about parenting but you leaving your Hold on, let me get to it. So I saw this earlier, and Neo, yes, I got your number, but you didn't think of calling me as a consultant before you said this dumb shit, so I'm gonna address you straight on. Because people said that you were a homosexual, people said you were ugly, people talked about you, you gained a little weight, they said you fat, okay? You ain't wrote a, 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 a song uh, like the Beyonce song in a minute, so the people said you fell off, but I never hated on you. Even in Dubai, I showed you love, I always show you love, I text you good wishes, but you're talking about parenting, you the same n Okay, this is what you said in the interview. You said this on camera and yeah maybe you apologize but i don't give a f get to the internet fast enough so here we are and i gotta say this is an example for everybody watching because you know when people when white when police officers kill unarmed black men they do it and see if you will stand down and if you stand back and stand down they keep doing it so it's not permissible so that's why i'm assigning names in an interview with this girl gloria velez and i'll address you in a second too you said you have no issues with the LGBTQIA. When you say that, that before you even say another word, that is your disclaimer to tell us the issues that you have. That's like when white people say, I ain't got no problems with it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. And now we about to hear them. You go on to say, love who you love, do what you do. I just personally come from an era where a man was a man and a woman is a woman, and there were only two genders. Now you could identify as a goldfish if you feel like, but I don't care, that ain't my business. It becomes my business when you try to make me play the game with you. I'm not gonna call you a goldfish. Then you went on to say, we need to go back to the old days. I feel like parents have almost forgotten what role of a parent is. If your little boy comes to you and says, daddy, I wanna be a girl, and you just let him rock like that, he's five. Let the five-year-old boy decide to eat candy all day, what he's gonna do. I'm not even gonna read no more. First of all, your number one job as a parent is to stay with your family, but you cheated on your wife with them strippers and had them babies on her, and then you left your family. So you didn't do your number one job as a man, as a parent. You did what my daddy did. You dropped off and then you moved on because you have a sexual problem, allegedly, a sexual health problem, allegedly, okay? Your sex addiction made you show that you weren't a good parent. And you know what? I didn't even write on your for them and I got daddy issues. I let you live because I have respect for you as an artist. I didn't get too personal. See, when y'all drop your dirty off, I don't come to the internet and talk about you. Those of you beating up your girlfriends, throwing them down the stairs when they're pregnant, uh, in your teen years. Listen, I let you all live. Why? Because I don't go there with you. Paying to suck your little 
okay? But I let you live, marrying <laughs> all types of weird going on in the straight community. But here we are talking about show, talking about us, okay? Don't uh, mistake gay and lesbian trans to no goldfish. What the? I guess this is where I come in. Now, Jason Lee, as I told you, Floyd Mayweather gave this guy his real start in this uh, business. Hollywood Unlocked is Floyd Mayweather's, um, you know, his network and what he started and he gave Jason Lee a chance. Jason Lee came along um, back when I didn't even see Jason Lee. I don't, I'm like, where is this guy? I don't know where he came from. But I guess when Floyd wasn't fighting, he was around. Um, the McGregor fight, I didn't see him then um, when I came down there. Never, like, I've never ran into this guy. So I don't know where he came from. But I guess he was around. And... I, you know, when I guess when I'm in Chicago, this guy was around and Floyd was on the show. And I guess he hadn't told anybody about, you know, him being gay. Floyd assumed that he was out there like people knew he was gay. So when Floyd accidentally outed him on the show, when they interviewed Floyd. He was like, my father, I thought you, you know, the world knew. He said, well, the world knows now. And. He didn't seem to care what didn't seem to be a big deal, but he got outed. And a monster was created. All this guy used to do is attack straight women, black women, okay? That's, that was his gimmick. He used to attack straight black men, straight black women, and say the most salacious things on that show and didn't care. Like, you can't touch me. I can do whatever I want, and nobody can say anything about it. That was his attitude. It was shocking, but that was his attitude. Is You can't touch me. There's nothing you can do. So, sticking to the point, just wanted to give some people some clarification of what happened to him. The more fame he got, the more arrogant he became. So, this issue with Neo, what Neo spoke about, had absolutely zero to do with him. Let me repeat that. Every issue that Neil spoke about had zero to do with him. He didn't direct anything personally to him or nothing. What Neil stated, so for him to take it personal, you know, I don't know. But what Neil stated was clear. He says, I have no problem with what you do. That's fine. But... I don't have to play the game. You can identify with what you want to. I don't have to call you that. Which is his right as a human being. If, Like he said, if you identify as a goldfish, I don't have to call you a goldfish. That's what you identify as. Like, I don't play the pronoun game either. I'm not going to say, oh, that's a she. I'm not going to call Bruce Jenner uh, a she. Whatever name he or she has, that's what I'm going to call it. Now, if they name happen to be Goldfish, then I'll call you a Goldfish. I'll be Goldfish. That's it. I'm addressing you by name. So I don't have to deal with the pronoun problem. Now, Neo brought up a point of how he was not interested
been a five-year-old coming to him, identifying himself, and just everybody's okay with rolling with that. He's not going to let a five-year-old come and say, hey, daddy, I, this is what I identify as. And that's just going to be the law. No, he's five. He's not old enough to make these type of decisions that's going to affect the rest of his life at five years old. That's the point he was making also. And what did Jason Lee do? Jason Lee comes out. See, because when the storm is gone, and after all the all his thunder that he just did, all that lightning, once all that's gone, and everything's clear, we see your agenda was just to come up here to promote yourself with fake outrage. You saying you're offended, one, because you're gay? Why would you be offended? This has nothing to do with you. Do you think straight people should be offended with what you say? Remember when you first started saying, I might offend some people, but I don't give a F. So why should someone give a F about you being offended by something that doesn't even pertain to you? You use this as an opportunity to get yourself some publicity. To promote your show. That's what you did. That's exactly what you did. You made this about you. In this moment. For publicity. You saw this as an opportunity. To jump yourself into something. And make yourself the headline. Right? And what you do, the usual Jason Lee, right? Threaten to, I'm a threaten to, to expose people. Um, you, you cheated on your wife. You, you, you left your kids. You did that. What does that have to do with what the man said? You never addressed any of the things that he said. You just went ranting and raving about straight people and all this stuff and a whole bunch of rhetoric that made no sense whatsoever. I didn't put your dirty laundry out there, so what does that have to do with what Neo was talking about? You didn't address one thing that he spoke on, not one. So that means you had no defense for anything that he said. That's what it shows me. And there is no defense for it because here's the thing. He's entitled to feel that way. Why should he be ostracized? Why should he be canceled? Why should he be doing any thing that you guys are talking about? Because of the way he feels. And he's someone with children. So he's saying what I don't want for my children. Is perfect. Now. Here's the problem. You have 14 different people that on social media that probably even spoke about this or made it a topic that I've seen. 14 people. Nobody's talking about this. But it should have went viral. But they don't want what he's saying to go viral. You ever thought about that? 
the why. Well, if 14 different people come in and say, well, this is something that needs to be spoken on. You decide to grab it and make it go to another level. And for what? Almost everybody in the world has at least one gay person in their family of some sort. Might not be immediate, but you might have a cousin, an uncle, an auntie that might be from down the line. Everybody's going to have somebody in their family that's homosexual. They don't hate them no more or no less. They probably don't hang with them, but they do. But the way you and a lot of other people like to believe that it's black people's fault, like they blame black people for everything. Oh, the economy is messed up, black people. Everything black, just blame black people. And that's the way you can get away with stealing things. But with you, you seem to have this inclination that black people are responsible for for gay hate, uh, gay everything. If we don't go along with something, we're wrong. And no, we can have our own thoughts just like anyone else. And I don't know what nationality is, but he seems like a man of color. So I don't know if he's black, mixed, Puerto Rican. I don't know. Cuban. Don't know his nationality. All I can tell you is what he's talking about had no bearings for us. Like, it, it didn't really matter to us what he was saying because they say, well, you don't relate to him. You don't really watch his show. No, not really interested in what he's talking about. Not because he's gay. Because he never was really interested in what he was talking about. I listened to him and he, he whines a lot. I was like, man, well, Hollywood Unlocked, it's like, he whines. That's it. He whines. And he finds out dirt and gossip because of the people he hang with. And the majority of it, he attacks certain females. And then there's females he can't attack because of the Hollywood, you know, thing he aligned to. So he can't go as far as somebody else would go. Now, I could easily sit here and put out foul things about Jason Lee that I don't know firsthand that other people have said. Because like I said, I didn't know the guy. When I was around Floyd, he wasn't there. So I don't know how him and Floyd got so tight, but he wasn't around me. He was like, oh, well, you know, he was a big 300 pound dude before, you know, they stuck a bathroom cleaner up his ass, but, you know, it is what it is. I still didn't know the man. Now, all I can tell you is this. And this is what I'm saying. As a parent, as a parent, you can't tell another parent how to parent their child. You can make suggestions or you can say, I would not do this, but you can't tell a father he's wrong for saying his five-year-old come up to him. He's not going to let a five-year-old make a decision on the, that's going to affect the rest of his life. No human being, in my opinion, should. Mm -hmm. They're not old enough. They're not mature enough to make that decision that's going to affect the course of the rest of their lives. Like, look, 
I don't agree with nothing Dwayne Wade has done outside of basketball. And we rooted for Dwayne Wade. But of course, his child is his child. And what happens in his household is his household. You know, I don't like it. But still, that's not about what I like and don't like. It's his son or that he wants to turn into a girl or whatever because the son wants it and they riding that wave. That's fine. But don't push your agenda on us. That's all we're saying. Whatever happens in your house and you want to do that, that's cool. I ain't with it, but that's what you want to do. That's you. That's cool for you. What I'm saying is, you ain't got to bring that over here, bro. Don't bring it over here. And that's how we roll. We rolling like that. Don't bring it over here. And that's how Neo is basically saying it. It's like, look, I don't have to play y'all game. Don't ask me to play. I don't want to play. Why is everybody upset about that? I'll, I'll be like, cool. Why would y'all want somebody to play the game with y'all that they don't want to play? That's another question. Why? The man don't want to play y'all game. That makes perfect sense to me. Let it be. Anyway. Love, peace, and hair grease. Shouts out to Kwame Brown Bus Life. Kwame Brown Bus Life 2.0. Welcome to HD with the Two Eyes TV. Seahawks Jose Rodriguez's channel. I will start the, fit the fantasy football season up. I'm going to probably do that today. Get the draft set to go. Because I've been dragging my feet because I ain't watching NFL no more. I'm done. Going to college. <laughs> Through with them. Um, yeah. Mondo Black TV. Ticket TV. Subscribe to them as well. And I'm out.